In this video, I just learned you how can you add conditional base shipping. Uh, first of all, you have to go to the zone and rates. Then edit your zone or you can create the new one. Here, just need to add the new rate for the condition base shipping. Now, this rate name is displayed on the Shopify checkout condition. I just choose here 10 for the base rate. Okay, and here I just choose all all for the zip code. Now, based on condition, when you click on it, you can see the different options are there. Item weight, item quantity, card total percentage and product price. Okay, so now if I choose item weight, then you have to add charge per weight. I just add here 10. Okay, and uh, unit for LV is 2. So for each 2 LB, the price will be 10 for the shipping. Okay, now here you can see when we add here 1 LB, the surcharge is not there because one divide, 10 divided by 1 equal to 10. But if we use here 2, then the surcharge amount options are there. So 10 because the 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So for each 1 LB, the price will be 5. Okay, so if the two options are there here for the search as amount, one is a divide by each unit and another is a search bar added by the more than units. What is that? Like if I add one item with the 5 LB. Okay, so with the 5 LB, the price will be 2 plus 2 plus 1. Okay, so 10 plus 10 plus 5, it means 25. Okay, and the base price is 10, so the price will be 35. Okay, but if I choose search as added by more than quantity, then whatever the price is there, if I add 3 LB, then the price will be 10 plus 10 plus 10 because the 1 LB is extra with the cart. Okay, so it's just add the next slot of the price okay now the item quantity is there charge per quantity like i just had here 10 unit for quantity is 1 so for each quantity the price will be 10 so if i add like 5 quantities in the card then 5 into 10 equal to 50 plus base price is 10 so it's a 60 okay now the card total percentage so here you can just set card total percentage with 10 and the minimum price will be 30 so if i add uh, 2500 dollar product into the card then the price will be 10 percent equal to 25 shipping but the minimum charge is 30 so it will add 30 with the base price of 10 so the total shipping charge is 40 and if you want to go with the zero the base price then the price will be 30 okay now as i display in the previous video that is the product based shipping you can choose your product and based on that the shipping is applied okay now below you can see you can just set the rate based on your needs okay now the order price order weight and order quantity you can just set based on your needs like if the minimum price is 10 and the maximum is 500 then and then this rate needs to be applied so this is the rule for the based on conditions okay now the order weight is minimum order weight is 1 lb and maximum is 10 lb so in between these two weight the shipping is applied okay the surcharge amount as i said you can just minimum weight or for one weight so based on your needs you can just choose one of these and the quantity needs to be minimum and maximum so if the quantity is maximum 11 then the shipping rate is not applied if the 10 or 2 or 5 then the shipping rate is applied okay so this is the different conditions like item weight item quantity car total percentage and product and with the rule you can set 
based on order price, based on order weight and order quantity based. And you can set all these three rules together as well. It's not like only one rule is applied. You can see its end condition here. So whatever the rule you are applying, it will combine each other and then display the shipping rate. Thank you.